what's up folks a little interesting one today I'm here at the beach at Fort Macon North Carolina which is on Emerald Isle on the Atlantic Beach side and I'm gonna hit the water right after I finish my trail ride that's right there's a mountain bike trail the Elliott Coos Nature Trail is three and a quarter miles and it actually is pretty tough so I never thought that you could actually mountain bike at the beach but I'm about to and then get wet let's ride all right we begin with some mulch and actually quite a bit of this trail is mulch which I'd never really ridden on and it's not that great <laughs> to be honest with you um, but after a short while we go past the Coast Guard station into the woods and it's really beautiful now I'm not gonna be able to show you everything on this trail because it's over three miles in length, but I'll give you the highlights. And I can tell you that having an enduro bike makes no sense here. So I've locked out the front and rear suspension to make this into a bit of a beach cruiser but I'm happy to have a wide gear range in the second half. So basically, the first half of the trail is undulating, a lot of wood features, super cool, very easy, kids can do it, even on balance bikes. The second half is all mulch sand dunes, and it's really a cross-country workout. Anyway, I'll check in with you when I get to the Coast Guard station in a little bit. Okay, so once you get to the hedges, there's a little downhill, and you find yourself at FP Con Bravo. That's what the sign says. Uh, it's Coast Guard station. And you may feel like, hey, is this the end of the trail? But no, you just keep going past the building and the fun really starts. My favorite section of this trail are these wood features you get right at the outset. Stop sign here. Yeah, we'll call that a stop. So here's the first one. You gotta look around for, you know, Osprey and stuff. Oops, sorry y'all. Appreciate you, hey, buddy. Then we get a larger one. A little downhill. And it's just beautiful. I think these are like live oaks. There's some viewing for bird watchers and they tell you which species you might see. Yes, it includes bald eagles, which is rad. And then the big boy. And it's just what a cool scene. Some of these trees are a little spooky looking, a little Berenstain Bears action. But I'm dating myself. And starting at that 0.7 mile mark, it tends to be just kind of flat in the tunnel of the trees for some time. So I'll catch up with you later, closer toward the crossing of the road, 
which can be a little tricky, but I'll see you then. So the birds of prey, Merlin, Northern Harrier, Osprey, Bald Eagle, little tiny Kestrel, you know, I don't see any of it, but can you spot the bird that I do see? Its head just poking out a little. Put it in the comments. So at 1.2 miles, you get back on a tiny little wood feature, if you can call it that, but that's a signifier that you're almost to the end of the short side. And uh, there's a couple more wood bridges, some of which are kind of long and cool. Uh, a couple things I should point out that I didn't film. Number one, there's a sign about 0.8 miles in that says Marsh View Overlook. Don't bother with that. You can't, it's not really even a view. It's definitely not an overlook. There's like a wall you're supposed to peer over. And you can't really see anything. Um, also, like right at one mile, there's a cool little downhill with a couple of tight turns. So it could be fun to practice cornering, but more likely you're just trying to watch out for oncoming traffic because they can't see you and you can't see them. Here's the long one. And I thought about doing the... And I thought about doing the skinny challenge on these little rails, but they're really skinny, uh, especially for a 2.6 tire. Anyway, just beautiful scenery. I wish it wasn't 90 degrees, but that's the beach for you. And here we get to the road crossing. And it is a pretty busy road. And cars are coming at 45 miles an hour and up. So do take some caution here. So we cross the road and we get back to the mulch and it's gonna stay mulch all the way to the end of the trail. So most of this trail, in fact, is a mulch base. And it's kind of hard to ride on. Especially if you're trying to use your fork and shock. So I've got everything locked out, as I said before. And that really helps. But this section is undulating. Here's a little fun swoopy downhill. Woo! And eventually it opens up into some like proper sand dunes. Ooh, literally in granny gear for some of this, so it's a workout. But once you get to the sand dunes, you can get views of the ocean and it's really incredible. So, I'll keep swooping around on this mulch for a little bit and come back when I got some better views to show you. So at about two miles, you get to this other beach access, see the ocean out there looking perfect, beautiful day. Uh, but I just finished a legitimate climb. Met some people who had just done it too and had to walk their bikes a little bit. Uh, I mean, it's pretty steep. So basically the strategy once you get to the mulch is if you're ever going downhill, like I am now, get it into a hard gear so you can keep the momentum going. So you can climb up these little swoops. Because if you stall out and you have to climb from, from a halt, it is not fun. But you know, I actually got the seat down. And you can get some elevation changes out here, which is pretty cool, being so close to the water. Anyway, I'll catch up with you once we get to the real open water area. See that? So after three heinous 
climbs in the hot sun, you get to this World War II bunker overlook. And that's when the views really expand. You hopefully can see the ocean panoramic, start going downhill. And it's just so special. 2.8 miles is where we're at. Um, you know, from mile two to 2.8 is pretty hard, you know? Really hot, slow surface, mostly uphill. And then it all concludes with this amazing view. The wind, you can feel a little bit better, but I mean, just look at this. Absolutely incredible. And you got a pretty sick downhill. Oh, I'm glad there was no people there. I would have torched him. Definitely happy I locked out the suspension on a surface like this that's so giving. You know, you can really lose watts. But still, probably best to have like a cross country bike. Saw some folks on beach cruisers and uh, single speed won't cut it, man. <laughs> so this really is a mountain bike trail at the beach. So here at three miles, really all that's left is this kind of exposed flat ground into the parking lot. So that's essentially all she wrote. It's just hard to stop looking at the boats and the, and the water after this trail i'm so overheated that the ocean is going to feel real nice so that's it from the elliott cruise nature trail in fort macon time for me to hit the beach see you next time on descent at best